Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Bioshock 2. Yes, I agree, crazy lady. What? Pervert! Got the new truth here. Yeah, you could always try shutting the door. I mean, I know there's a hole in the floor, but whatever it was you were doing, don't do it next to a massive hole. It's not my fault. That is entirely yours. There's a camera, so let's... Nope. Oh, well, you're over there. Oh, crap. Bertram, how dare you betray me? Uh, there we go. Shotgun. I'm uh, a big fan of a shotgun. Yeah, I've run out of tonic slots, so we'll have to... Okay. Ooh, freeze. We're still in the gene tank. Hey, Bertram, do your stuff. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. What? One people, one cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tid Daddy, you're dying alone. I do not believe in the concept of one. It's not, I do not go for the what's mine is mine and what yours is mine. Fuck that noise. And reload. Okay. Am no, I going the right way? All right. No. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm not going the right way, but I want to explore up here. Who left the bath running? That's just recklessly irresponsible. Did I do that? Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Oh, Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Cool. What? What's with all the noises? Is that me? If you could give me more shotgun shells, that would be lovely. Hello? Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we Oh, family. Yeah. So are the bakers in Resident Evil 7. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. Check the stove. Sardines. Life isn't that bad, love. Right, I'm back in here. 
right. I didn't actually come into this bit. Alright. Now we've checked all that out. Right, you are now mine. Let's hack you. Please stop crying, it's making me uncomfortable. Another day waiting for Harry to come home. I told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone, too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. All right. I mean, I already suspected that Sinclair was not uh, on the up and up. Good day to you. What a perfectly convenient puddle. Right, checked all that. Let's go back down this way and hack you. Okay, um, do I need to get any stuff? Health is fine. Drink fresh water will restore someone out of Eve. Don't really need that. Ooh, shotgun shells. No, not really worth buying anymore. Same for the darts. Okay, we are ready to push forward. I think. Nope. Ooh, more dollaroos. Thank you. Perfectly reasonable attitude. Oh, we've got another big Grace's devil. room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. Oh, I'm not going to have a choice of whether or not to kill her. Because I left the creepy showman guy alive, didn't I, in the first game. God, Hello? Did... Who's there? No one. Watch me oh! Why did you have to do that? I was trying to hack a thing. Good, you now belong to me. Right, she's that way, so which that obviously means I'm going to go in the opposite direction and hack some stuff. Or steal some stuff. Or listen to a new tape. And that's a hundred. What a snap. 
give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. <laughs> what a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. Gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. I see. Okay, that's locked. We both died tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature. And you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Ooh, what we got here? Newtonic Keen Observer. Get more bang for your research. Keen Observer, carry analysis further than you ever thought possible. What, um, well, I'm not really using the camera, I probably should. Okay, I was hoping to. Or was it you? Nope. Okay, can't turn the off the copyrighted music. Good. I don't want to turn the music off. Or uh, to probably just mute that song. Only an echo to my name, Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? Okay, I'm confused. Where is she? Through the window. Hello there, Grace. <laughs> um, I know what you're here for. Um, I don't Go think on, you take it. I don't think you know how I chairs work. Touching me. Doctor Lamb trusted me to care for her child, and I tried, but baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Well, if you're not going to attack me, I might let you live. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. Alright, got the key. I don't want the cigarettes. What are you doing? Come on, you goddamn monster. To hell with you then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. Do you had me under a gun? Yet you just walk away. No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. Exactly. I saw a shadow here. Oh cool, nice bit of jazz. Not really my bag, but I'm not here to judge. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar. But she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family. 
but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. All right, cool. So now she's going to help me. I appreciate that. I can't go through that way. Okay, I've already checked this area, I think. It looks vaguely familiar. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Yay, I've got a squadron of Bertrams. Anyone else want to have a, come and have a go? I've already hacked you. Come on, Bertrams. You're now mine. All right, Gerald, you do your thing. Did I hack you? Are you open? Yeah, there's stuff in you still. Cool, I will take them. Good job, guys. Whoa! That was uncalled for. I mean the rivets. What are these things? Oh, like portable uh, armaments. Nice. Salvation What should I call the bomb worms? We've got Bertram Gerald. Bomberman Bertie, that's what I'm going to call you. You've got Bertram, Gerald, and Bertie. Right, let's get all. Make sure I've got all the stuff. There was another one up here who got killed, wasn't there? Yep, yeah, there she is. Nothing. Oh, you're quite damaged, but you served your purpose well. You shall not be forgotten, Bertie. Thank you for your service. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. Well, maybe it was a good thing I kept her alive. Let's take some vitamins. How are we doing? 20 minutes. Yeah, we're doing all right. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? No. A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Paranoid much? Nothing in there, fair enough. Ooh, one of these. Ah, it's a duo of Bertrams. You did good, lads. You did good. Right, key is inserted. Are we now moving on to the next area? You're not rescued or harvested all the little sisters in this level. Alright, okay, cool. How, right, there's one more. And I did hear one. Alright, let's go on a daddy hunt. 
Hop on, kid, and start the train. Don't make me pull the whistle now. Hold on. How do I get in there? A fishbowl. Right, I'm guessing it's back in the hotel because that's where I heard him. The last big daddy. So let's head back there. Oh, is he nearby? Hi! I'm gonna wait for you to call a sister. And then I'm gonna murderise you. Does that sound cool? Yeah, we understand each other. If you could move a bit quicker, that would be great. Uh, Alright, let's... Upgrade Eve Plasmid slot Gene Tonic slot Eve Saver Plasmids use less Eve, that's handy uh, Replace that with that Gene Tonic slot I don't know what I put in there But that's fine I'm, I'm learning from the mistakes I made in the last Bioshock, where I didn't really upgrade enough as I progressed. You wanna call the sister out? Oh, there's a thing there, he might do it here. Here we go. I've, got, I've still got my Bertrams with me, they might be useful. I'm sure you can. Yes! Right, we'll adopt you and then we'll go on a body hunt. Let's get the shotgun back out. Doesn't need reloading, that's good. Right, you take me to the Adams, little one. That was a lot easier to fight, but again, I think that's largely because I had uh, my squadron of Bertrams with me. They may have uh, fallen, but they fell for a good cause. You shall not be forgotten, little Bertrams. Hey, Gerald. Blimey, this one's a fair distance away. How about a scary grow, little fire? Right, you made me this way. Now mine. Come to my aid, Bertrams. I don't have any health, I've just realised.
Can you not, like, stop pretending to be dead? Alright, we'll get that in a minute. Oh! Alright, let's grab this. Another day, no clients. Atlas and Ryan start going at it, hunting heavy, and all my business dries up. It used to be easy. Put the eye on some spliced up dame's wandering husband and rake in the dough. Now it's got so bad I had to put my camera at Hawk at King Pond. Makes a guy consider splicing up himself. If I had two dimes to rub together, that is. Oh, you don't have any health. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, I can heal up with you. But I need some first aid. gonna happen. Don't worry. I'm always safe with Daddy. Yeah, of course you are. Where's a health station? <sighs> Need to buy health kits and get healed back up and then go back and click the Adam. What's that? Oh, another one of these, that'll do. Now stocked upon health and more ammunition. Let's get back to that body. Now that I am fully prepared for the onslaught that will arrive once we start harvesting the Adam. Hi hey, Gerald. Trying, but these spliced fuckers keep interfering. There we go. Right. You get harvesting. Good 
Go on, Bertrams, do your thing. That's it, you you'll back off. How you doing, little one? Daddy, you always save me from the monsters. Cool. Right, where next? Anna, Daddy, over there. Get this last man, Adam. Get you to a thing. And then I think we'll call this an episode. Nope, not going that way. Good job, Gerald. Dad got this minigun. I mean, the shotgun's great, but uh, it's a bit slow on the reload, and that is not particularly helpful when you're being swarmed. I know you're angry, but this is my little sister. Oh, he sounds sad. Don't care, not my problem. Could you, like, make up your mind which direction you want to go in? Jeez. This one's some distance. No escape. That's false. The, the guy I was playing as before escaped and lived on to a ripe old age. Jesus, how far is this taking me back? Could you, like, not? Alright, where are we going? Oh, not that far away then. Excellent. Alright, you, uh... Let's eat that lot. You get to gathering. You are. Where am I being shot from? Over there. Try and be careful I don't shoot that that da big daddy there. You done? No. Nope. You ready? You do that. Alright, now we can drop you off. Ah! 
uh, we shall rescue. Because that's the kind of man I am. Thank you. you are welcome. A big sister is coming for you. Get ready for a fight. Really? Well, I'm afraid that fight is going to have to wait for the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Bioshock 2, and I will catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>